This episode is brought to you by Littlefoot Coffee. Welcome to Elaine's Cooking Podcast for the Soul, a cooking podcast that aims to show how even you can create filling meals that will sustain your corporeal form on just a few government rations and a hot plate. I'm your host, Elaine Martinez. Now, I don't want to call this a post-apocalyptic cooking podcast because it has been made very clear to all of us that we are not to subscribe to the concept of the quote-unquote biblical apocalypse. But resources are becoming rather scarce, and there are certain places that are no longer very safe to be. Outside, for example, I wanted to produce this show in hopes that it would inspire you to prepare even more sufficient and affordable meals at home while embracing a newer, largely unanticipated future. As many of you know, cooking shows are generally produced with a visual element, but since the networks only broadcast highly censored versions of monk reruns, I thought I'd try out the trusty form of live stream podcasting. Thank you for tuning in. Please join me in welcoming my guest and co-host of today's episode. We used to go to the same gym, Miss Maddie Chandler. Hello. Hello, Maddie. It's always important to greet an acquaintance warmly because at this point we can both see that the other is still alive, which is, you know, something. (laughs) I'm very pleased that parking was so easy to find here. Yes, this dentist's office closes at 8 p.m., so it makes taping here very easy. It is also a very unsuspicious place to park a vehicle, as almost everyone has a reason to be at the dentist. 8 p.m. seems quite late for a dentist's office to be open. To be clear, it closes at 8 p.m. Appointments are rarely taken after 7 p.m., but if someone works a lot and needs a simple filling on their lower 19 at, say, 7.15, I suppose an exception can be made. You seem to know a lot about this. Yes, I am also currently a dentist at this office. It is the one industry that seems to be booming recently, what with certain side effects of radiation sickness. All that on top of the more mundane but still important preventative dental care procedures such as cleanings, fillings, etc. But let's leave the off mic where it belongs and focus on the food preparation element of this show. Of course, it's why I'm here. Tell me, Maddie, what would you like to cook for us today? Well, I'd like to cook a pistachio-crusted salmon with a savory mushroom bread pudding and handmade raspberry gelato for dessert. Oh, my. But as you know, bread is now illegal, and I cannot afford almost any of the ingredients for that dish anyway. So, I'd like to share my rice and beans recipe. Excellent. Maddie has brought a one-pound bag of long-grain brown rice stamped with the insignia of the state and a two-pound bag of dry red kidney beans also stamped with the insignia of the state. Got a passion for rations, what can I say? Maddie, I love what you did there with the rhyming of the word passion with the word rations. I'm going to have to use that if you'll give me permission. Of course, please do. And Elaine, I see you've brought your very lightweight cooking gear and a hot plate to demonstrate this meal prep. Thank you for noticing. It is a very cheaply made one-quart pot I picked up for $2 at the Goodwill several years ago. This hot plate I got from my grandmother after her passing recently. It is actually part of what inspired me to create this show. Yes, she turned on the gas, forgot about it, and when she went to light her cigarette, a small explosion occurred that set her wig on fire, burning her scalp very badly. She died a week later due to an unrelated case of pneumonia. That is... All so uncommonly horrible. Yes, and she was also an uncommonly wonderful person, so it was painful for us as well. Just goes to show that death will greet us all. Before that inevitable end, though, why don't you tell us a little about your ingredients, Maddie? Well, if given the option, I recommend always choosing dry beans because they go much, much further and are also easier to transport if you're on the run to, uh, um... Fun food-centric social event such as this. Anyway, all you have to do is put a half cup of kidney beans into a bowl, cover with two cups of water, and wait 8 to 12 hours. I've actually brought some pre-soaked beans. Should I use those? 
I don't know. What do you think, folks? The audience seems to be on board. Great. So what I've done is rinsed and drained the beans. You'll notice many of these beans have broken along the seams, kind of showing a whitish inside. I don't know what that is. I've tried using less water in the soaking period, more water, different bowls. I guess that's just what happens. They don't look fully intact, but they will still work. I've placed them in the pot and covered them with, again, two cups of water. Oh, wow. This very small pot is very, very full. Indeed. So when we set it to boil, we'll probably want to stand right over it and kind of will it not to overflow. Stirring kind of helps, but I've found fiddling with the gas is the best way to keep it alternately at a very high and very low boil for a while, and then I'll bring it down to a steady simmer once water has evaporated. If you say so. And once it's at a simmer, then it's just another 1.5 to 2 hours until they are very tender and ready to eat. Wonderful. We're going to have a break for our sponsors, and when we get back, we'll get started on the second element of this dish, brown rice. We encourage you to do nothing or other government-approved activities. Stay very, very still. We will return in one minute. This episode is sponsored by Littlefoot Coffee. Littlefoot Coffee roasts responsibly sourced beans from all over the world and even curates blends based on the season's offerings. Right now, they have one called Winter's Monster that features Latin American coffees. Listen, coffee has never been more important, and right now, there has never been a better deal in getting coffees delivered straight to your door, your bunker, or even your dental office. You can sign up for a weekly or monthly subscription that will make sure you never have to face the day without a cup of coffee. What would even be the point? Just thinking about it, whew. Anyway, beyond the fact that getting a subscription means that Littlefoot will cover shipping, these guys are also offering a 20% discount for the first month when you use promo code SOUL. You can use promo code SOUL to get yourself or a loved one a Littlefoot Holiday Trio gift box, which has three four ounce precious little bags of coffee including the Winter's Monster Blend. Go find Littlefoot on Instagram and online and browse their selection. And don't forget, use promo code SOUL, S-O-U-L, at checkout. Welcome back, and thank you for pouring your continued existence into consuming Elaine's cooking podcast for the soul. I know that there are literally millions of other things you could focus on, and frankly, I do not understand why you are here, why any of us are here. At a certain point, our extremely brief lives are a cracked pathway of unaccounted moments paved with meaningless content. We thank you for choosing us as your preferred meaningless content to stuff into the crevices of your inconsequential life. So the beans are nice and tender. Yes, we've been here for a full 100 minutes and I could not be more ready to chow down. Let's drain and wash this pan. What do you say, Maddie? Sounds perfect. Do you have a sink I can use? Use the spit sink here. Why else would I set us up on a reclined R1 dental exam chair if not to make good use of this sink? Perfect. Oh, eesh. Now, that is a unique technique I'm observing. Care to describe it for the listener? Well, I don't have a colander, so ha ha. I'll normally just use a fork and kind of hold back the material in the pan. Whoo! And uh, try not to scald ha uh, myself as I let the water sift out. <laughs> One less dish to clean, right? Very savvy. I'll just pick up those beans that dropped in the spit sink here to sample. Mmm. <laughs> They're quite moist. I'm glad to hear it. We've all endured a lot these past few months. Nuclear holocaust, fear and famine, the rise of android patrol, and and the death of many of my favorite celebrities and family members. But one thing I cannot bear is tough, undercooked beans. <laughs> well, you're certainly setting the standard for this cooking podcast quite high, and I love it. So the red beans are now in a bowl, and the pot itself, we're just going to rinse out real quick so we can get started on the rice. I'm not going to worry about that residue. Call it a little bonus protein. Ready to start in on the brown rice, Maddie? Certainly. Very similar to the kidney beans, I am using a half a cup of brown rice. 
One thing I've noticed about cooking this particular rice is that although the back of the bag says that there is a simple one to two ratio of rice to water, it actually takes a lot more water than that to make this rice not burn and or remain hard to the tooth. The backs of cans and bags are often just guideline towards getting a passable product. Always feel free to deviate or explore. After all, every meal could be your last. Very true. So I'm adding half a cup of rice and one and a third cup of water to this pot. Good for you, Maddie. And then I set this to a medium heat, and we just wait about twenty to thirty minutes. Well, I'd love to pause for a break from our sponsors, but it appears that we're all tapped out on those for now. If you'd like to sponsor the show, please email me at Elaine Martinez DDS at LADentalCare dot org. That's E L A I N E, like Elaine, M A R T I N E Z D D S. The at symbol and then L A. D E N T A L C A R E followed by the dot org. I used to think it was similar to the www thing that you could basically skip and still get the results you wanted. Not so with the emails and dot orgs. True. Has it been twenty minutes yet? No. Would you like to tell the audience where they can find out a little more about you? Any social media platforms you are active on? I go on Facebook a lot. I find it enjoyable to catch up on some national disasters, check out some silly dog memes, and learn about the more trivial daily details of my friends and acquaintances that are still alive. Facebook ties those things together nicely, I think. I agree. Even though it often lays bare the gasping canyon of frivolity we all are swirling around in, I find it comforting that we are all swirling together. Am I getting too sentimental? Um, I don't think so. When you consider the miraculous unlikelihood that we should exist at all, that in our immediate solar system the Earth is the only planet with survivable temperatures during both day and night, and that the entirety of human existence on this anomaly planet is, when compared to the lifespan of one healthy individual, far shorter than even a normal-sized breath, well, it's comforting to know that I'm not the only one squandering it on Facebook. Let's check in on this rice. The water has parted the rice very delicately over the hottest parts of this pot. I always enjoy the way that looks. <laughs> It appears that there is still plenty of water that needs to steam out, but unlike beans, I don't mind extra al dente rice. Plus, I'm pretty hungry, aren't you? Truly, shall we slough off a little of that extra water and plate our dish? Elaine, you read my mind exactly. I'm going to turn my mic away for this part. This is very. Hot. Yes. Ah. Hot. Oof. <laughs> okay. I think we're ready to plate. I've brought two big mugs from home. Mine has a big letter A with some pink flowers painted on it. Looks like. And this one has like a little elephant kind of built out of the mug itself, and the handle is. Oh, I wish the listener could see this. The handle itself is the trunk of the elephant. <laughs> I was hoping you'd enjoy that. Now, normally I'll have a bowl as well as an empty plastic sour cream container set out, dividing half for now and half for lunch tomorrow. But I'm happy to share this dish with you, Elaine. I really appreciate that. As I'm sure you know, I am under crushing federally owned debt accrued in pursuit of my DDS, which means I have to mail a fraction of my rations to my senator. And ever since the postal service went, if you'll forgive the pun, postal, say no more. This is why community is so important, and why another coup is inevitable. So on top of that rice, oops, you get you got a little extra water from that pot there. That's fine. Hydration is both important and mildly filling. Well, just add these beans that have been cooling off on the counter. Well, the hot rice kind of warms them up, I'll bet. Exactly. Now we just stir this dish up and dig in. Wow, the textures going on here are quite nice. We knew that the rice would be a touch undercooked, but I don't even mind. Right, cooking, not unlike life, is mostly about setting your expectations appropriately. 
The kidney beans are very soft and delicious. I think if I added a bit of salt, it would be a very satisfying dish. As it is, what we've created here is approximately 20% of our daily caloric content. Just enough to not go to bed hungry. Simple and sufficient. What more could you need? Well, allow me to thank you for your time and efforts here today, Maddie. It was my pleasure, and literally what I would have done at home anyway. <laughs> This is the part of the show where we must part ways potentially forever. Oh, well, thank you for. Yes, the moment you leave my line of sight is the moment I stop being certain that you are alive and, from what I can tell, not crying. I would like to give you a hug so as that I may feel that nothing has been left unresolved and that if you do die when I'm not looking, I can remember that we left on such terms that you were willing to press your body against mine for a moment. Do you consent to a hug? Um, sure. Mm. Okay. Bye. Um, do you still want to ride home or? Yeah, just sit over there and, and be quiet for a couple more minutes. Okay. This has been Elaine's Cooking Podcast for the Soul. If you would like to try this recipe at home, please be prepared to speak with my lawyer. All recipes found here will be rigorously copyrighted and available for purchase and subsequent use by emailing me at Elaine Martinez, DDS at LADentalCare.org. That's E L. A I N E, like Elaine. M A R T I N E Z D D S, the at symbol. Then L A D E N T A L C A R E, followed by dot org. Don't forget the dot org, or I will not receive that message, and you will be liable for plagiarism, which the state takes very seriously, as you all know. Thank you to the state for their informative and mandatory advertisement mid episode, and to LA Dental Care for their low grade security and presumed support for the podcast. This is Elaine Martinez, not crying, hugging you. Good night. This episode of Elaine's Cooking for the Soul was written and directed by Allison Seisman and produced by Mackenzie Mazel. This show is brought to you by the Period Network. Story by Allison Slice and Maddie Chandler. Elaine Martinez was voiced by Rosa Delgado, whom you can follow on Instagram and Twitter at Rosa D. That's R O H Z A H D E E. The role of Maddie was played by Cassandra Church. Theme music is by Uri Avi. Logo design by Banksy. We think. Special thanks to the Pack Theater, Jason Smith, Emma Shirey. Maddie Chandler, and the Boyle Heights Arts Conservatory. This episode is sponsored by Littlefoot Coffee. Go find Littlefoot on Instagram and online.